it's almost impossible for me <laughs> to drive past a skip without having a look in. And quite recently what I've taken to doing is salvaging pallets that are just dumped in the middle of nowhere. So this is one that came from, it was dumped near Mount Pleasant Park. And uh, I was walking Marley and saw it, so I thought I'd have that. And it's actually quite good wood. So I've been chopping it up and not really too sure quite what to do with it. So what I did was I got loads of pieces and glued them together. And um, so I've glued them together to make these boxes. And um, I'll show you soon what these boxes is for, innit? I am awash with wood. What I have done is I've put these into groups of wood which is similar and then glued loads together. I haven't got that bit that I cut out. Oh hang on. Yeah yeah that's one of the bits I glue so I plane them all down, glued them all together. I can make a key ring out of that can I? Uh, and then chopped a bit out. Um, then I was playing with making holes <laughs> and then routing it. But unfortunately, as you can see, the router round over a bit, made a bit of a mess of that. Um, so from that box, I then cut the back out a little bit put another bit of routed on the front and put some speakers on the inside and currently we are at the stage of uh, we've got an on off knob some speakers battery compartment there's a connector there for USB so it can be powered by USB now because I'm using my phone, and that's the only way I've got of transmitting Bluetooth, I'm no longer able to continue filming, if I'm going to show you it working. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Well look, it works, and it doesn't sound right bad either. Right, well, I'm reasonably pleased with that. Um, need to work out how I'm going to attach the back. I think I shall attach the back using some little magnets. Hopefully that won't interfere too much with the speakers. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm quite, uh, quite chuffed with that. I don't know whether to put a couple of ports in to help the bass response. When the back's on, I'll find out. Um, because you need to have a balanced air in and out in order to maximise the bass. I don't know about the, the knob, I might replace the knob. Although, I mean, that's, that's, fairly, that's fairly posh, isn't it? But I don't know, I'll think about that. Thoughts, please, boys and girls. I'd say that's a result. It does go louder, much louder. <laughs> I 
decided to do on the back um, was use magnets, little neodymium magnets, and that holds that in place. I've um, used hot glue to hold the battery um, holder in and also the wires onto the speakers. I was going to solder them and then didn't and then they got loose and then I wished I'd soldered them. Uh, yeah, so it's actually, I think it's okay. I'm quite pleased with that. And um, yeah, what, what can you say? <laughs> Put it back together. I'm the Magnificent. I'm back with the shack of a soul boss, most tolerant, storming, sound of soul. I am W-O-O-O, and I'm still here with you. Bitch! Oops. Yeah, that's the marketing shot. Very, very pleased with that. It's upside down. <laughs> That's better. Rustic. There was something very important I forgot to mention about this little Bluetooth speaker. And that is that it is for sale <laughs> I don't know how much for because I've no idea what stuff like that sells for but to help finance one of my projects it's for sale